Broadcasting live from Barrel and Bones in the Colony, you've got the Drunk Sports Podcast with Big Red and IndyCar Tim. So let's get into the top 10 most overrated bands of all time. And when I read, when I read this article, I believe that the writer of the article misspoke. These are not overrated bands. I believe they are more over-commercialized bands. Which then, by definition, would make them overrated. Commercialized. What is that? Because even? some of you guys are going to have some issues with these. And look, I did not come up with this list. All I did was put it together. It's not my list. So put the firearms away. Put the knives away. <laughs> Don't come at me, bruh. This is not my list. But it's going to be contentious. This is going to be a fast list. It's- so number 10, by the way, uh, honorable mention was the Ramones. Oh, really? They popped in at number 11. Hmm. Because I believe that the little thing said, the little blurb said, punk rockers? Yeah, that's what they call themselves. So, let's get into number 10, and I have audio. We're going to have more fun with audio. Have audio for this. Oh, wow. You guys tell me how you feel about number 10. Number 10. Who's this, Linder Scare? <laughs> no. I have to agree with this. We haven't seen the list. It's the first one Your we got. Red Hot Chili Peppers come in at number 10. I hate them. They are an enjoyable band in their own right, equal amounts of grunge and incendiary funk, but nowhere near as... <laughs> I can't wow. even read that word. Wow. Yeah. As popular as critics have made them out to be, for 20 years they have stayed true to the same... First formula, which sometimes works out, but often grows tedious. I have to agree. I, I, I don't know that I was ever a fan of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. What? Yeah. Yeah, my wife even knows to change the station if they come on in the radio in the car. Yeah, it's awful. So, agreed? We all agree? Oh, we, Times I, three, they're terrible, right? Okay. Bus hates them. Hey, they are not... DMB. I, I, I hope think of the I'm going to leave if they're on the list. Who's this, Winter Skinner? I told you, can't we get someone else, right. anyone else number in nine. the bar? Number nine. Number nine. Who knows something about On our list of most overrated culture. bands. Number nine. Backstreet Boys. Oh, if they're on the list, I'm leaving. <laughs> it's Winter Skinner. Number nine. Moby. Bon Jovi. I knew it was going to be on there. I told you that earlier. You guessed correctly. The blurb says, even more formulatic than the Chili Peppers, Bon Jovi were the poster boys for the 80s hair metal movement and were loyal to their code long enough to make repetitive clones of their every single, and fans were unable to tell the difference. In an interview, one band member claimed they would never make experimental albums because they didn't want to cheat fans by being selfish. I guess no one ever told them that it takes selfishness to make art. (sighs) Okay. So yes, I can't. I can't disagree with this either. Although I, I haven't heard one word you said. I was a fan of Bon Jovi. Uh, Now this one, I believe my wife will have an issue with. Number eight. Number eight. Leonard Skinner. Oh yeah, I have a huge issue with this one. (laughs) I have a huge issue with this one. This is over Green Day, I believe. They are overplayed. My God. So before American Idiot, Green Day was an impressive young band, bleeding pure punk with delicious melodies, cranking out songs such as Brain Stew and Good Riddance, but after 2004, they ceased to be a band and became a franchise. It was no longer a musical entity as much as a stadium selling appearance. Dozens of bands try to follow their example and are partially responsible for the death of punk rock today. Wow. So this is... For, this is 2004 and na- up to present or before 2004? No, this is every, no. you'll see. This is okay, everybody. Okay, well, I did totally disagree with that. I wouldn't have gotten through middle school if it wasn't for the Dookie album. I would not have made it through middle school. Dookie? Yeah, yeah they said after, after 2004 yeah, after, is when they yeah, became okay, well, then I, I still disagree, but... Number seven on our list of the top ten most overrated bands of all time. Wow, this is extremely controversial. 
No, I agree. I mean, this list is brutal. I was a fan of U2 when U2 was relevant in the 1980s. Wow. Anything after 1990? Wow. They, they should have died in a plane crash. That'd oh, my God. That's terrible. Long considered the ultimate stadium band, U2 in its day, that time known as the 80s, were a very imaginative powerhouse. But now that vamping guitar seems less influential and more trance-inducing and not in a meditative way, Bono's voice is astounding, but at times falls under the weight of carrying some mediocre songs that somehow end up getting major airplay. Wow. If you think it's underrated, I'd like to see who's Over, overrated. overrated. Oh, over. I mean, overrated. Uh, overrated. I'd like to see who's underrated. Yeah, that one's a miss. I don't know. I agree. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like Green Day. Anything after about 1990, I believe there's. Well, what there's do you still want lost. these bands to do? Just stop playing? Yes. That's all. That's what they're supposed. Or die? Or die? Or just in a stop dead. Okay. <laughs> Become legends. Legends. You have to die. Number six. Janis Joplin had one hit and died, and she's the all best right, woman I, in the world. I might get shot for Leonard, playing this Leonard and Skinner. calling this overrated. But number, number six. six on our list of the top ten overrated bands of all time. How many people in the bar lost their virginity to this music? Oh, My fam- God, fam- come on! Family would- show, family show, boss. Are we oh, talking? Must be really, are we really talking? Young. Is that is that something wrong with that family wise? Wait, y'all lost your virginity? I'm saying no. People in the bar did. Oh my God! Should I mean, are we talking? By now? Is, are, are we saying? Because Axl Rose looks like he does now compared to what he used to Axel look like. Rose is that why? Is probably. Who is, who is this? They all hate. Yeah, trying to even know who it is. Leonard see. Skinner. Axl Rose is possibly the quintessential overrated hair metal frontman. The wow. paramount of flashy, overbearing, and crankiness that some critics take as a form of ambition. Critics. How did yeah. this band become known as one of the most greatest influences in rock today? Slash is a great guitarist, but a solo does not make a song. A worthy guitar band, but as monumental artists, they leave much to be desired. Wow. I don't know about that one. Okay, a quick editorial. Yeah. I disagree with this one thousand. Oh, good. Percent. Finally, someone else. One of my favorite bands of all time. Hey, good luck tomorrow, Jeez. guys. Oh, yeah. Bill's, Thanks for coming in to Bill's Maryland fan. Bones. Woo! Orchard Fit, Park. 52 Allen, to luck. 17 and 30 Josh to 13. Allen. That's all I got to say. can't get off it. All right, number four. Num- and I might equally get shot for this one. Wait, number five. Oh, wait, number Leonard five. Skinner. Sorry, number five. Number five. Most overrated songs of all time. No, bands. 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 Most overrated bands. Billy Vanilli. Do you really not know who any of these bands are? No, he doesn't. Spent way too much time on the golf have course. Any idea. Anybody know? This is not David Lee Roth. Beach Boys. He got it. He got one. Because I know the beach. Right. Yes, they made smile. Yes, they composed some of the catchiest music of the '60s and almost. Single-handedly invented California rock, but there's a time when a band ceases to be simply influential and moves into the territory of being distilled. Not to mention almost all of their singles are indistinguishable until midway through the chorus. (laughs) (laughs) So yes, I'm not going to disagree. This band was before my time. I'm only like 26 years old, so I I haven't heard any of these bands before. I don't know about y'all. That's what I said. That's That's why I don't know them. All right, this is the one I'm going to get shot for. She's real fine, my 409. Number four on our list of the top ten most overrated bands of all time. Number four. Wow. Look at the fake Jeff Cavanaugh over there. (laughs) Jeff's so upset he can't figure it out. You got Griggs out there, too. Is this because Lars can't hold the beat anymore? Is that why they're on the list? Or? Is he still in the band? He's, I would think so. This is know. Greg's. This is Greg's alarm clock. What? Yeah. So Metallica, contrary to popular belief, did not reinvent the wheel known as heavy metal, and are not so much a major creative influence as a very popular band. They range. From, they range from speed rock to epic composition. I don't even know what that word is. Composition. Um, Composery. They are also a bunch of whiners. Who did this? Who list? cares the social aspect of it? Listverse.com. You list. Okay, so what what bands would you put? What, I want to know what they reference. The, I don't. Okay, see that's what, just, what I'm reading is what they yeah, reference. Yeah, I don't like it at all. It's awful. I told you. God, 
Don't take it personally. I'm well, taking you, everything. This, I'm, taking it contra- contra- I'm, very, so I'm taking it very personally. I'm very, I'm taking it very personally. Okay, the top. We're down to the top two now. Oh. Uh, most overrated bands of all time. Three. One of these bands. Three. I grew up with. What? This is three. Oh, we're on number three. I've been Sorry. Writing them all down. We're in the top three. Um, one of these bands of the three I grew up with. One I don't give a crap about. The other one I absolutely hate. Number three, the one I don't give a crap about. Never made it as a wise man. I know this song. I couldn't cut it as a poor yeah. man steal. Who was that? Tired of living like a blind like? man. <laughs> Am I wrong? Yeah, sense you're wrong. Oh, okay. How is this not one? You remind me. Oh, two and one or one. I was going to say, how in the world are how are Creed and Nickelback? I got going out for number one. Ain't nothing wrong with Creed, sir. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Creed's got to be number one. Right? <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with Creed, sir. Uh, Nickelback. What began... I'm not, know, know. I'm, not even gonna, I'm not even going to read that. No, they don't need any explanation. We all, we all agree with it. Everybody agrees with it. Number two. Top most overrated bands of all time. Hoobastank. <laughs> Anybody? ZZ Top. It's not ZZ Top, sir. They do not appear on this list. Yeah, I probably, I probably should have set out on this one. ACDC, fans and critics alike praise them for being able to carry their songs using only three chords and constantly bludgeoning riffs. They rank highly on this list, not only for that very definition, but because they have taken the, pro- the gospel of rock and turned it into a Walmart commodity, joining Aerosmith and having Guitar Hero avatars and countless songs on the charts that are nigh indiscernible. They represent classic rock on its last legs, and while that may be supportable, it is no reason to put them on an incredible pedestal. Huh. I disagree. Oh, I mean, they put they, so so they made plenty yeah, of money disagree. outside of music, and they don't think they're any good. So now they're over commercialized and yeah, over. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, bad list. All right. Bad. Yeah. Who was All right. <laughs> and number one. <laughs> we all know what's coming. Number one on our list of the top ten most overrated, over commercialized bands of all time. Backstreet Boys. My absolute nemesis of a band. This band killed my favorite genre of music. And I'm so glad they're not around anymore. Elvis. With all of my heart. I don't even want to hear this. No, I'm out. Hey, y'all want to know how long it takes me to change the station when this comes <laughs> how on is, the radio? How is Creed like not this? on no, the no, list? No, I don't understand. Where I didn't get Creed down on the yeah. list here. Yeah, that was a perfect. I don't, I don't so, Creed. yes, Nirvana, number one. Oh. Y'all want me to read why? Yep, I want to know. Don't get me wrong. Kurt Cobain was, was a Martin. great songwriter and was able to get away with repetition because that's how punk rock was meant to be presented. As a slipshod dungeon of sincerity, not that they couldn't be melodic, is on the incendiary TV unplugged. It's not that the band is so much overrated as their premise. After Cobain's death, Nirvana ceased to be a band so much as a corporate enterprise, spawning massive appeals of t-shirts and other forms of apparel, which Cobain despised and saw as a form of cock rock. Okay, well, that makes more sense. Than it's after, it's after right. Kurt. Okay, well, then fine. Nirvana has become the very thing Cobain always fought against and has inspired infinite punk rock bands to sell out and become equivocal commodities. Not to mention Cobain's death has made him in the eyes of fans to be a martyr, a horrible misrepresentation of a melancholy end. Cobain was not any of that, but the popularity has ensued for the past decade and is sorrowfully appealing. Okay, well, I understand the justification, I suppose. So given my description of my favorite rock genre of all time and that Nirvana killed it, can you guess what my favorite rock genre is of all time? Classical? Oh. Classical rock. Wow. There it is. Yep. Thank you, sir. Yes, I would buy that. Are you going to leave us hanging or are you going to tell Tejano. us? Tejano. Uh, hair bands. Oh, okay. Poison, Death Leopard. Oh, boy. So how, about, really? how about Skid Row? Skid Row. Right Does up there, man. Okay. Oh, really? Motley hair, Crue. Hair Seen bands? all, all you, of them in you, you went to the o, the opposite end of the spectrum yeah. of the hair band. Whoa, oh, didn't know I had hair back oh, then. Oh, well, no. my, my hair was <laughs> flowing, flowing. I had long flowing locks right. back in the All 80s. Right. You looked like Iggy. Sir. Yeah. You looked like Iggy back in the day. Ooh, I probably was as skinny as Iggy, too. Yes. 
Yes. You oh. know what? I will not agree with that. Mr. Jeb Brown. Interesting. Throws his hat into the ring here with the Grateful Dead as the most overrated band of all time. And, and he, I do not disagree, sir. And he's pretty sharp at this. Yeah. yeah. He's pretty sharp. We should have had a microphone for him. Yeah. Well, he, he, well, he can't walk around the yeah, house Yeah, there's right one now. of the he, stones. He, I he heard got, the he stones. He got the big head Stephen F. Austin head right now, man. That's, so that's okay. We can't, we can't do anything with it. You see his, you see his jersey oh, I love he got Pink on Floyd. right now. Don't throw Pink Floyd at me. Those are music geniuses right there. Yeah. All right, boys. Time for some drunk sports ramblings of news and notes, if you will. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Drunk Sports Podcast. Join us next time for more drinking with Lance and Tim. Until next time, get drunk. We're all drunk. This is the funnest night ever. <laughs> Surprise, I'm here. <laughs> my God, that's oh impressive. My yeah, we were- I don't know what that is. Is that blood? Call me.